Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Busy week. Definitely not going to be able to get a video out before Monday, Tuesday. What day do I upload? Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Uh, but once again, I think we're going to try to make a drift event at the end of this week. Uh, 30th of December at Lanier. The goal, have both of the Corollas. Both my TE should be ready to run, right? This thing basically hasn't moved since I unloaded off the trailer for the last drift event. Michael Paz, well, she needs a cleaning. Brakes don't work. Well, they work. Uh, pedal goes basically to the floor. They do eventually slow down. Just not a, you know, confidence inspiring. So we're gonna bleed the brakes. Paz's car also has some, uh, well, there's no exhaust hanger. Got a ratchet strap. Uh, this tip is clamped on, not welded. And these shocks are, I believe, dead. Um, we traded years ago when Michael got these stance coilovers uh, for the 86. The rear spring rates are really stiff, but also the rear shocks were basically, I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. The damping was crazy stiff for this car. Uh, we ended up trading my buddy for these Camaro shocks off of his Cressida. And, uh, well, obviously one of them got a much better deal on that. So these parts store Camaro shocks, they need to come off. We got some AGXs to throw on. Uh, we also have some softer spring rate, I believe Swift springs from Battle Garage. We're going to throw in here. Um, and then maybe try to play with some caster. Uh, when I first did the front end on this car, I jammed all of the caster ever in it i don't think it needs it we'll probably try to get it back down to mid seven degrees of caster uh it'll probably drive better um, right now it's probably high nines uh really high eights low nines degrees of caster tons of caster on the front of this car can't even run a front bumper because you're constantly knocking it off so we're gonna take some take care of some things on michael's car clean it maybe uh maybe maybe be ready for a drift event on friday night over here in the parts department, we got some Battle Garage Springs and some new shocks. I haven't even opened the springs. Hope there's two in that box, it's tiny. Funny, cause I, uh, I hate Christmas, but my fiance and her family love Christmas. And, um, you know, I really came out in the green, got gifted this brand new Electric ratchet, because after I found out how fun they were to have, I immediately broke the one I had. So, 8.6, shock lower mount, unless it's been screwed with, is a 14 millimeter bolt. Already took the top nuts off, just dropped her straight out the bottom. This one's looking pretty chafed. Oh yeah, it's extremely, yeah, that one's young. Cool, should ride a whole lot better with just shocks, but go ahead, blast both shocks off, drop those springs out. See what his new, his new springs look like. This guy, he's got jokes. It's uh, stuck on there. So I come down here, I go to hammer it off. Well, the lower eyelid just, I mean, right off. So I think these shocks, they were definitely holding us up. That's also a dead black widow. Extreme. Disclaimer, don't do this to your friend's car. Fortunately for me, uh, Michael Paz will never know. Well, there's two. Better be a free sticker in here. Goodness, these are beautiful. The uh, Battle Garage Swift, uh, they are 5.5K springs. I don't know lengthwise how they're gonna compare to his stance springs, um, but they should definitely make this car drive a little better. It basically has never had rear suspension at all. And it drives like it. 
Well, this looks good, actually. Uh, some repli reckless rapscallion. Oh, never mind. I thought I cut these springs back in the day, but I guess not. That is the stock link. Um, so, looks like height-wise, they are very, very close. This one being so much softer, probably going to be the same height or maybe a touch lower. We'll end up maybe looking at... No, this is off-the-shelf battle garage. It's definitely good. I don't remember if these were set up for the collars or not, but we're not using the collars, so. All right. New shocks lifted up into place. Brand new bushings. Nice. Washer. Nut. Toy. And, uh... In case you haven't been around Corollas that long, or even if you have and you've just never heard of it, uh, when you're hearing me say Camaro shocks, you're confused. Um, third gen, I think fourth gen. Uh, these are actually fourth gen. Camaro shocks are like exactly the right length uh, for these A86 Corollas. Um, and the AGXs are a cheap, well, not cheap, but affordable, adjustable shock that works really good. Um, and so rather than buy coilover specific shocks or some defunct shock like TRDs, something like that, these KYB AGXs from a Camaro, straight bolt in. And since they're for a heavier car with a V8, the clicks really make big, big differences in damping. We'll get these lower nuts on. Set these things same stiffness from side to side. Uh, what else do we need to do back here? Well, this exhaust. Dang it. Perfect. Weld up the exhaust and uh, maybe make a hanger and uh, move to the front. Uh, exhaust tip welded on there, the added a hanger. Uh, so, let's we'll see what the new ride height in the rear is. It's going to take some driving around to settle, but looks uh, pretty good still. Um, I think it'll come down a bit on its own. And honestly, this car probably needs a little bit of front height. Can't remember if I raised the front on this thing or not previously. I think I might have. But. This is definitely quieter and softer. This should drive a whole lot better. Ah, all right. Since typically I don't have a hand when uh, bleeding brakes, got the Handsome Man 3000 here. Oof. Oh boy. All right, got that on there. Cracker open. Boop. See what comes out. Yuck. Got some junk coming out of there. We're still pushing bubbles, so this will definitely help. I don't know if anybody else has ever bled these uh, brakes. I know I haven't, and uh, I've definitely boiled the brakes on this thing way back in the day in the mountains. So I think we'll do some rotors on it. I don't know about today, but we'll do those too. Top off the reservoir, give it a few more pumps, move to the other side. Pedal feels really good, way better than it's ever felt before, but totally runs, I promise. <laughs> there we go. All right, get some vacuum assist. Oh, pedal's still really soft. Man, feels a lot better than it did. But with vacuum, man, she is soft. This car probably needs some brake lines. Maybe I need to do the rears for a longer time. We'll tackle uh, these rotors since I gotta do a stud on this thing. Go ahead and just tackle them tonight. Caliper slide was a 12. Caliper bracket, two 17s. 
dust cap. Ow! Cotter pin. You know, I use, reuse my cotter pins all the time. The other day I was cleaning up around my toolbox. I found a whole case of cotter pins. Meaning at some point I thought I was going to do better and be a real mechanic and not reuse cotter pins. I'll probably reuse this cotter pin. Snag my bearing in my washer. Slide a rotor off. Bloop. All right. See, it looks like it's still working. And her bearing looks decent. All right, on these older style cars, pickups, the rotor is actually bolted on to the back of the hub. Come off just like that. Knocked our broken stud out. Gonna run to the parts store real quick. Get us another stud. Brand new. Guys, I'm just kidding. You thought I was gonna do my boy Michael like that? Now I'm gonna get him a brand new one. Oh yeah. Throw our new guy up in there. Brand new guy. Let me give her a couple wallops with a hammer. Thought that was a car crash. It was just some Dodge Journey doing a Bernie. So, which one was it? This guy. Okay. Oh, forgot to put a toothbrush in here. Convenient. Slurp. Slurp, slurp. All right, hit her with the second washer. This one with roller bangs. Yeah, that worked a treat. Over here in the other parts department. Ah, got some stop tech rotors I originally bought for my wagon. But I ordered blanks on accident and I ordered these drilled and slotted. Uh, and the blanks got here first and I threw those on instead. <sighs> A lot of confusion with these uh, drilled and or slotted rotors because uh, some of them are designed to go one way, others are designed to go the other way. Nice thing with these choppy techs, they're actually labeled. It says, remove before insulation. Well, right. And the other one says left. So, since this is a left-hand drive car, this is the right side. Look at that, the scoopy doopies go the wrong way, but actually, uh, that's the scoop air, they say. So, don't at me about putting them on the wrong way. They're labeled. <sighs> All right. Obviously, installation, a lot of traffic. Installation is opposite of removal. Sometimes getting it all to line up and get your bolts back in, it's kind of a pita. You get them all started before you hammer any of them down. Uh, throw some fresh grease up in this situation. Bloop, 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 bloop. Already, uh, already in here. Should definitely repack everything, but you know that's just not how we roll around here. Clean this up with the old chop rag. Snug that down. It was finger tight last time. Probably go a little farther than finger tight this time, but this is a uh, this is a tensioning nut. You really don't have to go all that tight with these. The uh, cotter pin is what holds it from backing off. Snugger down just uh, one 35 year old wrist clack. Crown washer, what do y'all call these? Hmm? Castle washer, crown washer? Uh, taxation without representation washers. I'm gonna get a new cotter pin. 
because we already talked shit about it, right? We're gonna do it, brand new. This time for real. Y'all thought I was gonna wire wheel that one, huh? No. I don't know where the hole is though. Where the hole? Where the hole at? Right there. Okay. That's the spout. Whoop. Runner a little bit of bendy woo on that. Throw the cap on. Brakes back on. <sighs> Maybe we got enough daylight to hit the other side. One more grease. Don't hit it in the middle like a caveman. I've probably done that on this channel before, but don't do it. Caliber bracket. More grease. Dang it. Another one of my Christmas presents. Gotta say. This one hits a spot. So, in case you were wondering, did the exact same thing on this side as we did on the other. Except for we didn't have to go to the parts store and buy a lug stud for this side, because it still had four on it. Guess the only thing left to do is uh, put the hands on the screw. Let's get a suede wheel, don't want to mess that up. Go test drive it. We are running out of daylight getting kind of cold but i'd love to try to back that caster off a little bit tonight so we might still try to do that too And we'll try to give it a shot before darkness. Not that my PB blaster has any fluid left in it. All right. Owie. That jammer off. Owie. So right now, it's got a ton of caster. We're going to try to back some of it out. Uh, the car is incredibly hard to turn because the tires aren't turning like this. They're turning like this. So you're lifting the weight of the car up when you steer. And it's, uh, well, not working so good. So I'm going to push the wheels back a little bit. Get things back a little closer to factory spec. Eyeball it first. And then... Do some measurements to try to get her centered up side to side. Played with the toe a little bit on Paz's car. So, um, looks like we're probably gonna be pretty much in there for Paz's car. Might do a few more tweaks tomorrow. Um, but otherwise, uh, it's probably about as good as it's gonna get. So, next step would be tires. Let's get some tires on the wheels for the wagon and uh, maybe mount up some tires for drifting on too. Helps when the tires aren't super worn on the sidewall, but you know, that's what happens when your fitment's too good. But that'll do nicely. Ah, that V bead really put a hurting on this lip. Gonna have to chuck this one up in the lathe. It's nice having a lathe at home. Boop. Got these back here marinating. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's nice to pre-stretch before you put them on a really big wheel. morning getting junk gonna be a busy day oil changes on both of these things uh lug nuts on paz's car nut bolt check my car uh what else maybe weld some d-rings on my trailer um definitely some other things i'm not thinking about but time to get moving all right we got one drained on to number two got this old girl draining time to fill this one up Got the dinosaur juice. A little thick for these low power guys, but you know, uh, it's good stuff. Just notice this little guy hanging down. <sighs> Probably notice if my Speedo worked in this car, but apparently I've just been dragging the Speedo cable along. You know, just casually sitting at 100 PSI, waiting for that bead to seat. Not scary at all. Threw a spot of paint on Paz's front bumper. Back here in the back of the yard, using the trailer. Get some sunlight. And, uh, you know, over here, kind of next to me, this Toyota van bumper and I'm looking and I'm like well you know that needs bumper lights those kind of look close hmm. too small moving along throwing d-rings on the trailer UPS just got here. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, oh man, oh man. My hammy. Footprint gas pedal. Ready for the van. Hot damn. Let's have at it. 